So good morning or good night, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome to another episode of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host, Hector. And today we have a new, brand new episode of Is It That Bad? And we're here to talk about an album that was suggested by The Green Man. And I think it's been on polls and it's the, I'm going to show the artwork here. So it's Psychosexual Torch the Faith. And now I, I, they, he then changed his name to Psycho Sinner. So uh, yeah, when I, <laughs> when I see this album artwork, I don't know, but I think of Satan from uh, <laughs> from South Park. I don't know about you guys, but that's the image I get when I see about this. So I so we're you know the drill. We're gonna have the free rounds. Uh we're gonna give our first impressions. Then we're gonna do uh round two where we're gonna pick uh three. I, I'm safe to say that we can pick four songs here. <laughs> and on the third round, we'll give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or thumbs sideways, and we'll give our final thoughts with this. So uh first of all i want to thank my guest i have uh tom the green man uh how are you tom yeah good thanks Too yeah well. and again jc rock and metal reviews jc how are you today i'm good thanks good so since the, tom suggested we do this one tom wh why don't you start us off with this album yeah i kind of ended up regretting that i put it forwards in a way when i revisited <laughs> when i had to revisit it as well um, but I thought it would be a good one to do for this series. Um, my first impression was a bit like the, if you think of the reaction that um, it was the YouTuber Bradley Hall, the guitarist, that he did. He was reacting to the five cringiest metal videos. Um, and one of the videos was the Let the Sin Begin video by Psychosexual from this album, from Torch the Faith. And you just watch his reaction. That's kind of how I first reacted when I first, which well, was this song that I was watching as well, or the video that I was watching. And I reacted in a very similar way. And I started off by bursting out laughing. And then it just kind of gets more and more uncomfortable as you watch the video and you kind of get a bit grossed out and everything. Um, and that was sort of my reaction as well. Um, and the first impression to this. Um the album is is kind of for me it's a little bit samey from track to track a lot of the tracks just sound they kind of just go into one another musically i think um obviously i don't know i saw an interview jeremy spencer saying that you know he wanted something that allowed him to express himself pretty much and not not have any rules to follow or anything and but it's a bit like because of that this album just has zero filters it's like feels very out of touch um, and, and, you know, the way I would describe this album is it's like it was written by a teenage boy who lives in his basement and mm. watches a lot of adult content. I think that's the way that I would, uh, you know, describe a lot of the lyrics on, on this, on this release as, and the themes. It's just like, it's like it's been written by a 13 year old boy. That's, uh, a bit clueless, uh, to say the least, um, and uh, yeah, I, I I guess that, you know, I, I will save my thoughts and, and whether I have any sort of obviously more positive uh, things to say about it for the final round. Um, but yeah, my first impressions were fairly negative, I would say, but there was a certain hilarity about how cringeworthy and out of touch it was. That, that was the thing I, I sort of found there was an element of outrageous entertainment about it. Yeah, it's really like the, it's so bad, it's good type of like scenarios so did you first listen to this when it came out in 2020 i think it was a bit after that it was whenever bradley hall did his reaction video yeah because i saw that the metal meltdown actually did a video on this album when it came out i think um, i saw that yeah i think i saw that as well yeah but but 2020 was so bad <laughs> that I, I didn't need to add this album to the badness of the year so uh yeah, so those are Tom's initial thoughts. So what about you, JC? Okay, yeah, I remember when it came out, I remember watching uh, the Middle Meltdown talk about it. And I remember I was interested, so I wanted to like see what it was all about. So I remember typing the name into, into uh, YouTube, seeing what comes up. And the first thing that came up was uh, this music video for a cover song of uh, the police's uh, "Every Breath You Take," and I, I watched, I started watching the music video, and it basically shows 
this woman in, in a shower and like devil daddy like singing a song but like he's like looking at her from a window and I think I watched it for like 30 seconds and then I turned it off <laughs> it's just it, it just like couldn't like continue to watch it anymore and then I think I tried to listen to the album I put on one song and after like the first just once I saw a little hearing the lyrics I, I turned it off and then after that then a year later, um, he puts out like nine albums in one day, and he changes his name to uh, the Psycho Sinner. Nine albums in one day. That's oh my. Yeah, God. I know. I know. Also, the the Metal Meltdown uh, did a review of that. I don't know how he listened to all of them, but he he did, and they were you know the same kind of thing, you know. But you know, it was like just nine albums, and a lot of the. The songs were like like remade i think i think he changed some of the lyrics and uh i think after a year after that he released like two more albums and then that's it like this this album it's hard to find like it was taken off all the streaming services it was uh like a lot of a lot of those albums like the nine albums he released they were all all taken down so anyway basically my, my first impression is it sounds like Five Finger Death Punch, but worse and more generic. I mean, a lot like musically, a lot like it just sounds like he like downloaded these like templates of like just like basic like rock tracks and used that, and and then he just like wrote these lyrics which are very like cringe work where they like Tom was saying it does sound like <laughs> just like some like uh, you know kid. Who, who wrote it or you know, some young adult, but uh, the, just, just the, the, the lyrics weren't very good. I think out of all the songs, uh, I think there was, I'll, I'll talk about it later. There was, I think one song where it's like, um, I'm listening to it, was like, okay, this one maybe I kind of like, but otherwise, I think this was like the first time really like listening to the album from start to finish. And, uh, that's it. That's my initial thoughts. Yeah. Good. So <clears throat> I was reading on, on the internet that this album it was supposed to be like the 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 it's the devil's band, but I'm like I'm like this is the <laughs> Satan from from South Park. Like he's like, come on, Satan, Saddam Hussein, I can change. You remember that? And it's like he's like, I don't think you take my feelings into account. So I don't know. I thought about. I'm like, this is what I even the. <clears throat> when I see the artwork, which I'm I'm gonna show again because the artwork, just just look at this. This is just so bad. Uh <laughs> torch the faith. Uh it's it's just so bad artwork. And and he kind of looks also like the devil from that movie from the 80s, uh with Tom Cruise. What's it called? Legend. But oh, he, yeah. he kind of looks like a like less evil uh, version of that. So yeah, it's it's very cringe worthy. So I have to be honest, I have never listened to this album until yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I put it on headphones so no one else could listen to it. Uh, so I was doing a public service uh, to everyone around yeah. so that music would not be heard. I can totally see why this was taken down from the from the from the platforms, but I I, I listened to it because uh, JC sent me like this U2 like clip where they had the album and I, I i started like reading the comments and there were some people that saying that this was a masterpiece and i'm like i'm like i'm like what are they listening to to me <clears throat> this sounds more like if five finger death punch tried to sound like him uh but really badly i'm like i'm like oh my god he's trying to sound like him but uh and i i like him him has some cheesiness to them but they're you know bill ballo write some great lyrics and last year he put out a solo album and he was in my top 20 so yeah this yeah this music is it's strange and it's and i was thinking is he trying to be serious or is he trying to be a parody band because if he's trying to be a parody band i get it but i don't think they're trying to be a parody band at all uh and i didn't I, and i searched and it didn't look like this was a parody band so, so I'm like, is he be, so that Jeremy Spencer from Five Finger Death Punch? He's being serious, right? I, I, I don't really know. I think he, it's like, 
that might have been the intention, but they just got carried away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, th I think like he intended it to be, you know, a serious man, but, you know, he saw the reaction, which is why he thought he could do it again by changing his name. But mm. you know. So what does he? What did he do in Five Finger Death Punch? Was he like a guitar player? I can't remember. I, I don't follow that band. Drummer. 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 Oh, he was the drummer, and he decided to sing on this one. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. And you know, it's it's you know when you go from Five Finger Death Punch to this, it's interesting. So, yeah, my initial thoughts with this, I listened to it yesterday for the first time, and <laughs> I was like kind of like laughing at how juvenile the lyrics were and they're just straight up like really bad and but we'll talk more about lyrics and songs on round two so yeah those were my initial thoughts i thought like uh, what the hell is this that i'm listening to so uh with the, on that note let's go to round two and and we can pick like i think we can talk about four tracks on this one <laughs> so tom what four tracks do you pick yeah, I mean, you just take you take your pick, really. I mean, I think Baby on Fire, the opening track, was pretty bad to me. Um, and the lyrics are just like kind of almost nursery rhymes, but almost worse than nursery rhymes. Like, our flame is so high, it lights up the sky. We seem to torch whatever gets into our path. My angel love black. I, I, I couldn't find the lyrics online, but I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> you they put it out. They, they my, put it out. Yeah, my angel love black, you make my earth crack, or something like that. I don't know what on earth he's trying to say there, whether it's some sort of weird innuendo even. I've no idea what that was all about. Um, I just thought the song was was real, really pretty bad. And um, I suppose it set the tone uh, for the rest of the album. It did that. Uh, Bite is my next choice. This was just... Which one? Uh, was bite. I you bite. Know, says, I bite. I bite when the sun goes down. Yeah. Yeah. but the thing is it doesn't bite it just sucks <laughs> <laughs> that's the way i would summarize that one um lips turn blue i just thought the lyrics were just kind of disturbing ways talking about i hold you i'll choke you even in death i'll own you um and it, uh, yeah it that's the one that he says like you'll be mine where your lips turn blue yeah yeah, yeah. No, romantic I, yeah 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 it's like um yeah, let's let's uh, let's go any further with that one. And um, what doesn't kill me, like I think it's the album closer, and it was just so so boring. Actually, there wasn't even a shock value in this one. Like with the other tracks, there's a bit. Yeah, of that's a, the one. Like, you know, what doesn't kill me? You better start running or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, and it was just repetitive. But at least with the other tracks on the album, there was an element of outrageousness or something to make you go. Ugh. Whereas there wasn't even that, it was just, this was just boring kind of by the numbers, just industrial sounding rock. And it wasn't really to me, you know, just repetitive and, and very, very dull with, with nothing even remotely interesting about any elements of the music to me. That's how, that's how I saw that last track. And I just thought, you know, you're ending an album, which has been, you know, really over the top with a song, which is just going out on a whimper really. Yeah. So did, um, yeah. Did you pick four? I think <laughs> that was four. Yeah. I think I lost track. I'm like, okay. So yeah, those are the four tracks that Tom has picked. So JC, what four tracks do you pick? Okay, now uh start with Let the Sin Begin. It's just uh just of the lyrics. Again, I, I was like trying to find lyrics online, but I think that they all got like erased. Like yeah. nobody wants like to have <laughs> the lyrics on their site, I guess. Um, but let's sin begin. I think that one I found lyrics. It's just the, the very cringy lyrics. Uh, I'll read some of them. Uh, uh, would you like to take a little pill? One that leads leads to bigger wieners. Uh, we're moving fast. We're about to fly. Haven't left the ground, but we'll touch the skies. <laughs> just uh, that's what then later they're talking about. Uh, in the chorus, uh, you'll be wiping my love that's dripping from your chin. Uh, let the sin begin, though. Again, re really bad lyrics. So that one. Then uh, the song Torch to Faith. This one sounded a lot like, if you remember that song, uh, All the Things She Said by Tattoo. It was like this uh, All the things it was a pop song, like two women. like I, It, it kind of like 
I think they like took the melody from that and just like went with that. Um, so that this one is about uh, it. Just it's, it's, the lyrics are very simple. Uh, don't believe in yourself. Uh, you'll never make it out alive. Don't believe in yourself because everybody dies. It's just yeah. When I really when I listen lyrics. to that song, I'm like, that's mm -hmm. the great. That's a great song to have. Like on like if you're in a group of self esteem group and you're like, this is the mantra: do not believe in yourself. <laughs> you you what's what's the other thing that he says? You're never gonna amount to much or something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's not like it, it, it doesn't matter because everyone's gonna die. It's like, yeah, okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the one I bite it, so I understood it to be like about like a Dracula, but you know, first of all, it's just one of those musically, it's just one of those songs that sounded very like over processed, like it's kind of like, like they just you know whatever they just had that like per pop production value but and then the lyrics uh i wrote some of them when you're lying in the bed i open up the door to creep across the floor to fuck forever more and then when i bite i only took one bite you'll have eternal life i mean like i don't remember in any of the dragon movies like him doing that <laughs> like i was thought he just yeah. comes comes in to bite you and then he leaves <laughs> well he, he um, so explaining here what he's gonna do yeah, um, I'll, I'll mention our uh, lips turn blue. I think I think at that point in the album, it kind of like went into more of like an industrial like sound. Like the first few songs sounded more like Five Finger Death Punch, and then the later songs were more like industrial. And you know, ba basically, you know, Tom was talking about it, the song about necrophilia, and you know, there have been other bands that have. You know, the song about that, I know like Alice Cooper had a song about that many years ago, but they did it in more of like a satirical type of way, but mm. the way these lyrics are written, it's almost like he's serious and it kind of like disturbs you instead of like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, instead of like sounding like satire, it sounds like he's like being serious. <laughs> and I think... Uh, and and he's trying to make like make it like a love song. It's like uh, I I put your hand around your throat. I'll I'll love you till you're dead. I'll hold you. I'll choke you. When your lips turn blue, you'll be mine. I mean that that's just <laughs> it's just uh disturbing. Yeah, maybe then, he was trying to be like song, a typo negative, but he couldn't pull it off. Yeah. Um, afterlife wife. This is him trying to make like a love ballad. And I understand it is like, he says, I woke up today feeling chills. It's our wedding day. Now you die on pills. It can't end this way. So you can't go away. I can't bury you. Not like this. You're my afterlife wife. So I, I understand it as like, he's telling a story about how he gets married and his wife ODs on pills, but uh, he wants to like keep the body or something like that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it just, it's like trying to be a love song, but it's disturbing. So that's it. I guess that's my four. Yeah. Yeah. Some good picks. So, uh, so I think that leaves me, if I could, I would pick the entire album <laughs> because I think I can find any, anything bad on each of these tracks, uh, because I think they're all pretty atrocious, uh, but I, I want to mention one different. Uh, I want to mention, I want to be the blood in your cut. <laughs> that one really tried to be like him. He's like, I want to be the blood in your cut. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, that's, that sounds so un unhygienic. Like you have to throw like some, <laughs> some, uh, something on that. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm like, uh, is he trying to be poetic? Like he wants to be the blood in your cut. And, and musically, it really, it really sounds like uh, I think JC says like he's sampling. He got like a tool like yeah. oh, uh, how to do uh, generic rock albums one on one, and he put it to the songs. the The lyrics are cringe worthy, and yeah, I can't find them either. <laughs> I'm looking at, at something, and it all says missing lyrics, missing lyrics. Like the mm -hmm. lyrics are so bad, they don't want you uh, to listen to them, and. Uh, 
another so afterlife wife uh, I thought was pretty pretty bad. Uh, yeah, just the story of like the wife dying and he like wants to be with her, so like he's gonna like keep the body. I'm like, yeah, this is really disturbing, and I'm like, if they're trying to be a parody, I don't, I, I'm not getting it. And lips turn blue, yeah, for the, <laughs> the same reason. The lyrics are just atrocious, and the music is pretty generic as well. And uh, I think "Baby on Fire." I just think it, it just sets the mood. That when you listen to this, you're like thinking, oh yeah, this album is going to be pure dog shit all the way through. It's just sets the tone. And maybe you think like, ah, maybe it's the first track and it will get better, but it does not get better <laughs> with each ping. I think it is just it's atrociously bad. And yeah, so those are my four picks. So uh let's go to the final round. So where we give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, and we give our final thoughts and if we say like if there's something redeeming about this album so tom take it away yeah i think the jeremy spencer was maybe trying to um be ironic you know and get this to be a parody i think the problem is that there's zero subtlety i've been thinking this through i think it's just there's no subtlety on this album and that's the big problem with it is that it's not done in a way which has any sort of um you know clever songwriting or any elements of it that that really make it work if you're going to go down this sort of a road um like it's not necessarily that you know writing about sex is you know there's anything wrong with that per se but it's the way the execution of the way he's writing about it and you know the the themes and the, the sort of weirdly um dark aspects of of the songs but they're sort of just it's so blatant it's so obvious it makes it uncomfortable um and for me that's that's the thing that's that's probably what i didn't articulate perfectly earlier on with this record i think and um yeah it just kind of it falls flat as well musically i think that's another issue with it is that the music um you know with sometimes with albums if you can for me, I'm not actually much of a lyrics person, really. Um, if the music's good, I can still, you know, listen to an album. But it, they are very, the lyrics are very distracting, <laughs> like super distracting on this record. Um, and the music is just, you know, it, it's it's kind of like um, you've both been saying, actually, like it's uh, just not very, it just doesn't really kind of ever do anything besides something average. It all sounds very familiar, like songs I've heard before. From the eighties and the nineties, it's just songs. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, that that that's obviously this is worse, probably much worse than the original songs that these these songs sound like. But I'm sure if I spent some time with these songs, I'd probably eventually realise that this sounds a lot like an original song from from another artist, and it just sounds a bit like borrowed material uh, in a lot of places. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's it's inevitable, really. This is a thumbs down uh, from me. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it was going to be anything else. Maybe if it was April Fool's Day, we could have given this a thumbs up and just see what reaction we got <laughs> for giving yeah, this album. But can you imagine? Like, being like, confused, was, yeah. I, I think I think Hector, you would have had an all out unsubscribe if we'd have done that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but people, people would have no people would have seen the date and they would have gone, ah, it's April Fool's Day. He's we we're just joking. That, that's a missed um, opportunity. <laughs> Missed opportunity there, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe. So, um, but yeah, it, it's it's definitely a thumbs down. Um, redeeming feature wise, uh, I think there's an element of, you know, Lady Killer had a riff that I thought was a little bit, you know, had a little bit of something about it, but um, that that was that was really about it. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what about you, JC? Yeah, I'm not going to say it's pretty much a lot of the same things. I, obviously, a thumbs down. But I, I did, I did like mention. Um, when I say Lady Killer, I thought that guitar riff. It was like, okay, this is maybe redeemable, but obviously not enough to save the album. I don't even think the song is like that great, but it's like the the best thing amongst like all, all the trash mm -hmm. and that's on lady killer even the lyrics weren't horrible because it's uh 
you know, I guess it's just talking about some type of like witch or something like that, which is kind of like <laughs> standard in metal. But otherwise, every everything was just really bad. The the music, there was nothing interesting in the music. Um, the the lyrics, like they they, they don't even sound like satire or parody. They just they just like very in your face, and I think when you're dealing with this topic, with you know, and, you know, when it talks about like you know, like about like the the satanic stuff, I mean, that's like every metal band talks about that. But uh, this is going into some like like deeper stuff where you have to like really be careful when you talk about these things, and he doesn't, and I think that's like the big problem with this album so this yeah, is something like i'll like i listen to it just to prepare for this video i'll never listen to it again and <laughs> probably like i might even say like like the worst album uh we've ever done on the series so yeah because even the six feet under was bad but at least it was and an album. I don't know. I did, you know, it, it had some cohesive. <laughs> this is the. I think. Yeah, I know what you're you're saying. Uh, uh, although uh, Shili did a review of an album called Four, and he claims it to be the worst album he's ever heard in his life. Oh. So we gotta do that album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I listened to that Thor album. It was pretty bad. I wouldn't say the worst I've ever heard in my life, but has yeah. Chili. Well, I would say like. Maybe she has to listen to this one. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, this is possibly like the worst album I've ever listened to. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously that leaves me. So uh, surprise, two thumbs down for this. Uh, to me, uh, I have to listen to that four album. But right now, this is winning the worst album I have ever heard in my life. And I've listened to some kids' music with my kids. And I tell you what, I rather listen to that shit than this album uh so i gotta be honest i just listened to this once i'm like i i can't listen to this more than once i did some notes and i'm like yeah uh, i i don't know because some of the songs felt like i've heard them before but better like i like i told you they were trying to do like a him typo negative five finger death punch and when you are in a band like five finger death punch that i don't think they're good and that's the better band you know this is really it's really bad. Uh, the lyrics are atrocious. Uh, the music is subpar. Uh, redeeming qualities for this, that it was short. <laughs> that it was like 39 minutes or something, so it ended yeah. quickly. So uh, I'm glad about that. And I can see why this was taken down from like like the, all those yeah. websites, because I, I, I don't think that someone should, uh, should tell Jeremy Spencer we you do not need to inflict this harm on people's ears and oh i, I listen to this with headphones so uh like i said i did a public service to people around so nobody could listen uh, plus i've been worried about this album so i was like i don't want to no one like listening that i'm listening no one to find out that i'm actually listening to this and think like what the hell is wrong with this man uh but yeah the album is it's so bad there's no redeeming qualities Hands down, I think this is the worst album we've talked on. On is it that bad? Even the production, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say the production sounds bad, but when the production can be great, but if the songs are bad, who cares? Like, it sounds like he just like used some kind of like computer program. Where, yeah, like, it sounds it, like it they, like they just like clean. like let let the, let the program like just like do all the mixing and everything. Like that's. It's just sounded like very like processed. Like yeah, I can mm, I, I can tell you that if you took this album and you sent it to AI, maybe an AI could produce a better album than this. Probably, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's it's just an atrocious record. Uh, so uh, it's all Tom's fault that we he made us listen to this. Uh, and and we, we were supposed to ha have Matthew, but he couldn't make it. But but I'm sure he would have given it a thumbs down too. <laughs> Uh, or maybe he would have said that he likes it more than Oasis. You, you never know. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is an atrocious album. So uh, coming up next for Is It That Bad? I don't know. We may do that four album and there's a few new releases that we may do. 
uh, so it all depends on timing and, you know, so, but this one, uh, I will let you know what we're doing next, but, you know, uh, we want to, we want to know from you people, what do you think of, uh, psychosexual torch the faith? Do you think it's that bad? Or are you one of the people who commented that you actually like it? Because I saw a comment saying that this was a masterpiece and I'm like, how can you, listen to this and call it a masterpiece. Uh, maybe it was Jeremy Spencer. Maybe, maybe well, he... we'll, we'll, we'll see if people are defend this in the comment section. Yeah, that it has to be him. Like doing some, like, like oh no, this is a masterpiece. This is so good. I'm like, what? Uh, no, like, uh, yeah, it, it's really bad. And thinking of that, I don't know if you guys remember, of, but a few years ago, there was this artist that put his album and it had a lot of streams, but he, he, I think he put like computers to stream it. And I can't remember his name. And that would be a good album to talk. I got to do my research and remember what album was that. Uh, because, and and he like, like tried to like hype the album up himself, but I can't remember the name. So yeah, so I want to thank my guests, JC and Tom the Green Man for joining me once again. So Tom the Green Man, he does like, fantasy he does album reviews and he's doing he has got a series that right now called symphonic metal where he talks to bands and he goes through a lot of symphonic metal discography so uh please subscribe to him and jc rock and metal reviews he does album rankings album reviews history so please if you can spare us up uh subscribe to him as well and if, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you know we do this series i interview bands and I also do album reviews and other things. And I'm thinking of reviving my shilling with a book series. Uh, yeah, to see like if people, yeah, uh, where I read a book and then I just tell you my thoughts on it. Uh, so until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield dude on a couch. And we'll see you next time on another episode of Is It That Bad? Thank you and goodbye.